Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a general pick a card for what is your current energy. Today we have two piles. Pile one is going to be this angel aura rainbowy color here. This is pile one, really pretty. Pile two is going to be larva kite, also really pretty as well. This is pile two. This one does shimmer, but I think you have to pull it like at a certain angle. I'm trying to see if I can get it to shimmer for you. There it goes. There it goes. So that's pile two. Okay, so pile one, angel aura, and pile two, and larvacite. So these are the piles to choose from. Choose the pile or piles you're drawn to the most. This is a general reading. For a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Please like and subscribe. I also want to say thank you to everyone who has been commenting below. If I don't comment or respond, I apologize. And if I do respond with an emoji, it's probably because like I'm in a hurry. But I do appreciate your comments. I do read them. I do appreciate you guys. And I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. So I'm going to get started with Pow 1. Angel Aura, what's your energy? So let's see. If you chose Pow 1, this one's really pretty. I haven't like taken this one out in a while. You guys are surrounded by the energy of angels, like fairies, elementals. That's what I'm getting. So let's see. Pow 1. What's your energy, Pow 1? For the collective, for those who chose Angel Aura, show me clearly through the cards, please. What is Pow 1's energy? You have the four of pentacles. I feel like you need to work with this crystal. You need to hold it. You need to connect with its energy. You do have the seven archangels that surround you. I'm also getting um, las siete potencias or seven African powers is what I'm getting. The number seven could be significant or this is your um, angel number, life path is what I'm getting. Uh, with the four of swords, you do receive lots of messages. With the three swords here, I'm getting that more like 111. And with this, it's like kind of when you're sleeping, you're receiving, you're channeling messages from the divine. Mother, maiden, crone, mind, body, and spirit. I feel like if you are hurt or dealing with some type of heartbreak, your angels are coming through to heal you from whatever like negativity or toxicity you could have been experiencing from something that was very low vibrational and was um, hurting your heart space. With the sun card, you have a lot of strength within you. You could have a Leo placement, 222 angel number. Your chakras are being balanced or restored. That's also significant for the number seven. You can also work with this crystal here to um, clear your chakras is what I'm getting. So that is your energy pile number one. Let me know if that resonates. Any other messages for pile one? What's their energy? You guys can connect with good or bad energies with the devil Capricorn. Your energy right now is a little bit of like in between in and out. Like I'm hearing, oops, there she goes. So it's like yes and no. You could feel a little bit unstable, but you need to move forward. The reason I say that you have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, which is also number seven. So 777 seven, seven can be significant. That's your energy. You have the number of abundance. I'm also getting as above, so below, as within, so without. So it's like sometimes you feel good. Sometimes you feel don't. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you feel good, sometimes you feel like you don't, is what I'm hearing. You connect to the in-between, and because you are gifted, three, two, one, it's kind of like you are needing to ground yourself and shield your energy. You guys are strong empaths, that's your energy. You feel the pain of the world or others around you. You need to protect your space. You guys are strong channelers with the Hierophant here. And you need to protect your energy. That's what's coming through. Your energy is very strong. It's very high vibrational. It's a strong healing energy of an empath, a healer, a Reiki master of some sort. You have the energy to heal, to love, to nourish, to nourish. You heard Norse. You are a strong empath and you need to take care of your energy before you can help others. So if you're feeling like you have mood swings, one minute you're happy and the next minute you're not, it's because you need to ground yourself clear your chakras, protect your aura, because you will absorb other people's energies like a sponge and you need to learn how to shield yourself so that those energies do not affect you on a spiritual personal level because your energy is your own and you should not be taking on the energy of others. So you guys could be surrounded by narcissistic people, manipulative people, or um, somewhat of an energy vampire type of energies is kind of like what I'm seeing. Not all of them are like this, but you do come across low vibrational people because like a moth to the flame negative energies may sometimes be drawn to your light so just be careful and be mindful that you are protecting yourself so that is your message for pile one if you chose angel aura you can also do some more research on that crystal and see what other healing properties it has but we're gonna get started with pile two four 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 as i say that with a larva kite pile one please like and subscribe thank you for watching comment below this was helpful if you want to see a different pick a card if you chose larva kite i really like how it's shimmering when i'm looking at it but i'm trying to show you guys 
and it's not doing it. It's like a really nice shimmer. It's larva kite. It's kind of like labradorite, but it's different. Okay, very different, but it's still very nice and shimmery. Okay, I heard you guys are dark angels. If you chose pile two, what's your energy? You guys are channelers. You guys are my channelers for sure. I can feel that um, as I'm looking at this crystal. You guys connect with maybe a little bit more darker energies or more stronger um, energies. The occult, more masculine versus feminine is what I'm seeing here. Pile one was a little bit more like loving and nurturing. Pile two, yeah, the knight of wands, or excuse me, it's the knight of swords, which is moving forward, taking action, going after what you want. I saw the knight of wands, which is more of like... Um, spiritual guides finding that fire within you that passion that dedication going after what you want being strong within yourself 555 and with the seven of swords sometimes you guys can manipulate energy you guys are strong manifestors um do not misuse your power those what i'm getting because you may connect with galatia spirits for some of you yeah with the magician you guys are gifted i wanted to come out upside down but i put it upright because the spirit wants you to do to do right and do not misuse your powers because you guys are very strong so don't power trip and do something negative gemini energy because if you do that you will get um smacked down or slapped by the universe okay yeah with the ten of swords if you try to hurt somebody it will get stopped you are also necromancers or you can talk to spirits of the dead you guys are mediums take what resonates if that's not for you don't listen but for those of you that that message does resonate i do see you speaking to spirits goetia spirits are connecting with something or someone that is more like a darker energy like the underworld the occult like something hidden a secret um, maybe you don't talk to people about it because they don't understand, but you can speak to spirits of the dead or if someone passes away, um, they come to you so that you can pray for them to cross them over. Yeah, with the two of wands, you are that medium, you are the bridge, you are that in between, you help people who need um, more light, you guide them. You could also have Hecate or Santa Muerte because I do see a dark goddess around you. I also heard Lilith with the emperor. You have uh, the seal of Solomon or some type of Go Goetia. I heard Goetic. So Goetia spirit as well. Um, you guys are strong automatic writers um, because you can be poetic and you may have left blood offerings for those of you that this does resonate. For others of you, it's wine, but I am seeing a blood pact of some sort. For some, not all. If this isn't for you, don't listen. This is just like what I'm picking up through the cards, okay? So if it's not for you, don't get scared. Just be like, that's not me. That message is for somebody else. It's kind of creepy. Not my message. Uh, what else do you got to say, Moonlight Shadows? Because that's not my story, you know? So don't don't take it if it's not for you. But I am seeing this here for some of you. Hmm. What else for the collective? What's your energy pile too? Okay, so as much as you're good, you can also be negative. It's like you can be an angel, an earth angel, but when people piss you off, you pull out those horns and you're like, don't fuck with me. Like you become like this darker aspect because you um, people mistake your kindness for weakness and they think that you're na naive. Yeah, with the sun, they don't see that there's this hidden side with those eyes closed. They only see that you're like, oh, all rainbows, sunshines and butterfly. But with the seven of swords, <laughs> it's like behind the scenes. You guys will strategize and you will take care of yourself. And if someone is trying to fuck you over and they're like, oh, well, the collective for pile two doesn't do shit. They're always talking about like, oh, being nice to other people. And eh, they're a pushover. Like they don't realize, which is not true. They don't realize that um, you do stand up for yourself and you can fuck shit up. So you guys might have like, um, it's coming across as like a two-face energy, but you're not two-faced. It's kind of like, if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. And if you're mean to me, then I'm going to fuck you up. Or like, I'm going to have my spiritual team protect me type of energy. That's kind of like what I'm getting. Like when it's time to toughen up, you will do so. Yeah, you will be that king and you will protect your own. And you guys are strong spiritual warriors, pal too. <laughs> I do see the King of Solomon for you. You guys may be very connected to him or the Goetia spirits. Um, I do see Hecate and Santa Muerte. Yeah, with the Two of Swords. You meditate and you're protected 9-11 as I say that. So you may work with archangels, light energies, and dark energies. With the Seven of Pentacles, people who try to harm you will not be able to be successful because it was upside down. With the Three of Cups, someone could have been sending you negative energy so that you could be doing, um, like, in addictions, drinking, smoking, sex addicts, or doing something harmful. That's not going to happen. The universe will not allow it. Pile 2. Pile 2 is energy, please. Any other messages? Yeah, with the Seven of Swords. You guys will strategize. I'm also getting the Seven of Swords as Andromalius because I do remember that card very strongly for some reason. Um, Andromalius protects your money blessings. If you have a fake friend or somebody around you who's trying to, like, 
take your money blessings or your coworker that's trying to like fuck you over and make you look bad. Andromalius will protect you with a seven. Yes, strong sevens at seven, seven, seven coming through, even though I've only seen the seven of swords on the chariot, which is also a seven cancer energy. Swords are um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be those signs, but that's kind of like what I'm seeing. Like if someone is lying against you, 10, 10, you are quickly to identify that. And as soon as you identify it with the high priestess, the secret is revealed because you will connect to Andromalius and he will show everyone who the fake, who the phony is, who the liar is. The Ace of Swords, that is the truth. Andromalius is your guy. He's your, um, he's your Goetia spirit here for some of you guys. And he is helping you because you have left offerings and you connect with him. So when you know it's time to like pull out the big guns, you do so. With the Four of Wands, your home, your stability is protected. And with the Sun card, you could also have Lucifer or the Morning Star. That's what I'm hearing with the Sun card. Yeah, with the Lovers. Gemini energy. It's like these spirits, these protection energies love you because you take time to connect with them because you make sure that they're not forgotten because you take time to um, learn about them and give them energy through the offerings that you give so that they can have an equal exchange to help you with what you desire because you take time to not forget about them. You will receive blessings. The people who hurt you will receive karma. That is your energy with the queen of swords upside down. Once you get pissed off. Yeah, literally the queen of swords and the queen of cups like 11, 11. You guys can be really sweet, but as soon as you're really sweet, you can also be very, like, you can be chaotic. You guys might be, like, gray witches, guy or girl, with the justice, because it's, like, black and white. Justice is, like, the scales. You know, it can go one way or it can go the other. So it's, like, these Goetia spirits will determine if people are going to get karma in a bad way or good karma. Because you can be really nice, but when someone tries to fuck you over, you deliver that same energy in return. So... That's what I have for you with the Wheel of Fortune. Things turn in your favor. Um, it's your call is what I'm hearing. The luck of the Irish. Um, with the fool, yeah, people think that you're naive, or, but they can't play you for a fool because you might smile in their face. But you're a lot smarter than they think, and they can't take your blessings is what I'm getting. Um, because, yeah, you are gifted. You guys have a strong spiritual energy. I'm also getting the Mother Maiden Crone um, type of vibe. I'm also getting the Morgan for some of you. But your energy is that you're very strong. Look, at, I keep getting the Libra Justice card. So you guys are just going, like, you guys are karma. Like, if someone's good, you give that energy. And if someone's bad, then you wish them, like, I don't want to say you wish them harm. But, like, you protect your space. I see these as a bunch of candles. And you reach out to your spiritual team. So your energy is very strong. It's very powerful. It's very mysterious. It's very mystical. That's what I'm getting. Like, you guys have, like, a witchy type of aspect. Like, a witchy vibe or very, like, seductress type of energy. Like, if you're guys... Um, you guys could be very like hot or handsome or like sexy or like your eyes or your smile. And it's like, oh my gosh, like women can like melt at your feet or your smile is very seductive. You have like a sex appeal if you're a guy and if you're a girl, same thing. But it's like you guys manipulate with the eyes. You could be like sirens is what I'm getting. Yeah, with the queen of wands, Lilith vibes for sure. Um, but you guys just have this like mystical, mysterious look. You have a darker energy, like your presence seems that way. Um, you're not evil, but it's like you guys are just like. You're like that bad boy, bad girl type of look where everyone's like, ooh, like that's that's hot. That's sexy. Like it looks bad, but it's like I'm so drawn to it. But I don't think you guys are bad. It's just like that's just the vibe you give off. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the devil. <laughs> you guys have fun, but like in a healthy way. So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I send you many blessings. Bye, guys.